So welcome everyone to a little video with Tim Wild and myself. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Louisa. Lovely to see you again. And you. So we're having a workshop together on Monday, the 11th of April. We are. We are meeting up today to talk about all the energies coming through. Yeah. And we are recording a little video for you to yes. introduce uh, these energies and to do a, a visualization that came through with a uh, wolf spirit also i love this wolf yeah. spirit. it's it's um it reminds me so much of 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 it ties in so much with what we're all going through at the moment Lavisa. it's it's mm. like we, you, you might have questioned it to start off with and then it's like actually this is really really in alignment with with the process that we're having to go through mm -hmm. yes you were talking about the wolf pack and how it's yeah it's always I mean, where we are on the ascension process at the moment, if you look how a wolf pack operates, the mm. alphas and the leaders, which would pertain to us, even if you're listening to this, you might feel like you are you are not in, in a leadership role. Energetically, you are because you are a representation of the light and everything else around you aspires to your vibration which is why it's so important that we keep our vibration high so uh, a, a leader or an alpha of a wolf pack will ensure that the the elderly and the young are guarded simultaneously and this pertains to the it's almost like a, a a reflection of the 3d and the 5d where we're looking after our our own awakening clan but we're also here for the people that aren't awake yet mm. even though there's this kind of what looks to be a huge barrier and a divide so we're encompassing a whole world of different vibrations and and it's a huge mantle of responsibility and the responsibility and the courage that is needed for the responsibility is the point of focus for our workshop on Monday. yeah so light worker courage uh, walking mastery in light worker courage like, yeah yeah absolutely yeah. because so it does let me, show the, the, let me just show this card and of a, a wolf spirit that i think is so beautiful this is by um, a deck by colette baron reed it's called the spirit animal oracle the wolf spirit beautiful beautiful right yeah so that's what like the inspiration for for the visualization yeah yeah and yeah. um the really wolf spirit wanted to come through because two of our guides the norse guides for our workshop are the god the norse god tyr who's like a personification of courage was the, the bravest of them all uh and um his it's kind of like an antagonist um uh, the wolf fenrir or fenris mm. uh who is a representation of fear yeah everyone feared him he was a huge like a beast huge wolf uh, that um, they tried to uh, kind of take him in, the gods and, and Odin to, to raise him because he was said to become someone who's actually at the end of the world, he will kind of devour Odin <laughs> even. So it really represents that a fear, mm -hmm. uh, and, but he outgrew them. And so, so they all started to fear him. And in the end, the, the only one who, who dared go near him and and calm him what was Tyr. So he would kind of put his hand into the wolf's mouth to, and he was the only one who dared to do that. So that's a very, it's very interesting, isn't it? It's, yeah. um, I mean, if you think about the, the, the metaphorical meaning of putting your hand into a wolf's mouth, yeah. I mean, you, you'd really have to take a deep breath before you did that, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Let me show that uh, image now that we're talking yeah. about them then. So, um, uh, yeah. I, so I love this powerful art that you find, Lavisa. Isn't, it? Isn't that yeah. gorgeous? Actually, this is uh, um, John Bauer. You can see his name at the top left corner there. And it was painted in 1911. And he, wow. Actually, from the name, I, I should know this. And when I then did read up on him, I, I know he's Swedish. I remembered. Uh, but that's more like German name, actually. But yeah. he's a Swedish artist. And he did this like, amazing... He... he like would bring the, the the old myths and sagas and everything to life in such a beautiful way. No, it's perfect. So that is that is Tyr. 
with his hand in the box mouth. Okay. And you can see that Fenrir is bound here. Mm. And that was how they, they, they tricked him into, to, he, if he, he said, like, I, I need one of you to put your hand in my mouth. I'm, I'm not fully trusting you <laughs> that, that you're not tricking me. Mm. And, and uh, Tyr did it. He actually will bite his hand off. So he's yeah. the one handed. God, but he would do that. You know, that was it's kind of a self-sacrifice. Yeah. Thing, it? Yeah. It's, and um, because he knew he could he could do it. And that that's really to face your fear. Perfect. Yeah. And that's what we're having to do. It's, yeah. it's so appropriate for the quantity of responsibility and the potential unknown that we're facing at the moment. It's, yes. um, it's been a very much a, 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 a riding theme of that is coming through to so many people in our position at the moment is that, that, no, we don't know where we're going. Yes, we have got a lot of responsibility and that responsibility is all down to the power with, with, with which we create it mm. because we're now creating the next phase where we're, we're aligning it in accordance to the harmony of the 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 goal the high road or the the, the golden mm. bridge the you the, the the fifth dimensional unity consciousness and the golden foundations that were that are being built so everything has to harmonize with this in order to be part of it to step mm. into it and it takes a huge amount of courage to face your shadows yeah. to step out of step into the arena with the things that you are the most frightened of because inevitably you can't take those things with you Mm. And, and one thing is also to dare to to shine your light to to stand up for what you believe in mm. as a light work that, that's a very difficult thing at first when you for many of us when we wake up uh, we don't know anyone else who believes what we do and to and to to own that and, mm. and that and it it it's perfectly fine that that is a process you don't have to like tell the whole world at once and like do videos like this or no you know. i think um, you can personally attest to that as well lavisa having having strived through that initiation yourself mm -hmm. i mean it was a very powerful one for you wasn't it so you have Definitely. the yeah. perfect kind of curriculum with which to teach the same experience to others it's uh, mm. So at first, I I couldn't imagine telling anyone at, at my old job where I still also work. So do both still. For my family, yes, they're very supportive. So they were like, "What is she talking about?" But they were still supportive. Yeah. I said, no, for some of you, that's you don't have that privilege either. Um, so. Um, but um, but then to my my first videos that I I said my my I said that my name was Lavisa but I didn't say my full name and my my YouTube channel's name didn't contain my name you know so that was that took a while mm. I was I was scared out of my mind to do my first videos also I thought that was I I didn't even like it <laughs> <laughs> at all but yeah. No, I, I don't think anybody does to begin with. It's a case yeah. of getting comfortable. But I, I still get nervous though. But I, yeah. I don't you do. You've mm. done so many. Do you get nervous? No, not, so, not, not right. with videos anymore. I think like yeah. live speaking, because that's a different arena altogether. You know, you, it's, it's all about you in the moment on the day. <laughs> and um, one thing I have learned, with, especially with presenting live, is to honor flow rather than than kind of think you've got everything prepared and sorted because you could mm -hmm. get up there and be told to do something completely different. Mm -hmm. and, and that that's happened when I've come over to Sweden and, and when you were when you were hosting the workshops, I can remember I think it was the first or the second day of one of the weekends. And I said, look, do, do you remember? I said, oh, look, I'm sorry, I have got information that, that I said we would be doing this today. But I'm being very powerfully guided to do something different. Mm. And this is the energy of the group. This is the energy yeah. of the particular time that we're working with. So, you know, to be able to kind of flow with the currents is definitely a bit of a bonus. Mm -hmm. So just to mention Wolf Spirit again, since that if you hear about Fenrir or Fenris, that would be like the feeling of fear and also the way that people, the, 
in many cultures have viewed the wolf that they're that some it's someone you fear and people are you know killing the wolves because you know they take our cattle or whatever yeah and yeah. Uh, they would be afraid that it would take your children and and but then the interesting thing is that the the dog but that we then domesticated the wolf and the dog is the man's best friend so mm -hmm. and, and so loyal and that's one thing that really comes through with the wolf with wolf spirit loyalty it's really very strong uh but <clears throat> should we mention a little bit like the the beginning of uh, the description of our event on Mo yeah. on monday in the 11th is says we have now reached the point in the 20 year transition period between 2012 and 2032 where light workers are beginning to step into their walking mastery and embody their divinity mm. so for anyone who doesn't know what is this period that we're in this transition period between 2012 and 2032 tim well, we're making a jump shift from the third dimension where we've been for thousands and thousands of years since the beginning of Atlantis, um, 260,000 years to be precise, uh, into the fifth dimension in a very, very short space of time. So this 20 year window, we are directly in the middle of this at the moment, hence yeah. the global chaos, hence yeah. the constant turbulence. Hence the um, incessant efforts of the 3D matrix to keep people at a lower consciousness than the higher consciousness. Um, we, they, I think from the information that I've received, we are well past the point of them thinking that they have the ability to stop the ascension process. What they are trying to do is hinder and impede those that are stepping over a little bit later. So we're at a very, very chaotic midpoint mm. of the shift which is why a lot of you that are listening to this at the moment might be feeling like you're under pressure you might be completely bombarded with all of these different sources of information you might have also began to adopt the mantle of responsibility for your role on this planet mm. which is where the courage needs to come in mm. because mastery uh, or walking mastery yeah as it is being called, is a mastery of self. Once the self has been mastered, then you have mastery over your environment. So we are stepping from a very limited state of consciousness where humanity has been under illusion for a long period of time into our vast cosmic multidimensional master self. And it's a big jump for people mm. to make in such a short space of time. And mm. we're here to help mm. so I, I was actually reading from your book yours and diana's book that's the one the second yeah. second in you're the guide to enlightenment and mastery living in yeah. the fifth dimension so that's the second book and uh just like how you define it uh walking mastery so there it says living in a physical body while maintaining the upper levels of the fifth dimension this occurs when you contain a high percentage of light in your four body system absolutely yeah. absolutely so ultimately at the moment you will be going through a process of all of the physical interactions that you got but your light will be rising every mm -hmm. single day there is not a day that goes part by on this planet at the moment where some part of the process is occurring within you to increase your light so this happens daily mm. there's no relent from it it is a constant climbing up the percentage of light ladder. Mm. And quite often that is why it feels uncomfortable. It feels the opposite, yeah. you know, raising your light. like a lot of yo-yoing. Yeah, feel. a lot of yo-yoing because once the light comes in and we integrate it, we then have to remove the density that the light has made room for. Yeah. And quite often that means we go back down to that level to experience the density, experience the shadow, release it, work through the things that kept it stored in the cupboard in the first place. And here you have our process. <laughs> and it's perfectly normal. Hmm. It, that's how it's. Yeah. So it's, that's how it happens. So you don't have to feel that, oh, I'm like, I'm back. I'm, I'm regressing instead of progressing. No. You know? no. It is. And also when these, when the 3D and the 5D, when it becomes like the, the distance becomes longer, of course, it's going to, you're going to feel it yeah. more like yo-yoing. Like it's going to be. Quite. It's, it, can, it can be exhausting it's uh, yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of very exhausted souls out there at the moment because the mm. 
the, the constant jumping between bandwidths and thoughts and fo focus and situations is quite frankly, um, we want to be either one way or the other. We want to be comfortable. We want to be stable. We want to be grounded. We want to be happy, but everything has to be sorted out before we can move into that state person permanently. And it does beg the question sometimes of when we get there, what are we going to do with ourselves? Because we've become so accustomed to this grind, yeah. to this constant hard work now. It's been like this for, for years and years, decades for me personally. Mm. Mm. And so I'm, I'm kind of wondering what I'm going to do with myself when I do finally get to this kind of state of fifth dimensional utopia. It's going to be like, well, there must be something I've got to clear today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, um, <clears throat> I'm feeling really how they're cheering us on, our, our guides, that we're really doing is such a great job. And that was one one. Uh, uh, description for this uh, workshop that came through is that this uh, this is a pep rally, Louisa. It's yeah. not just a pep talk. Do you do you? I mean, I know pep rally is an, an American word. I learned it's it when I was in the, same in, in the U.S. Same like, in the U.K. It's like go on, yay! yay. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah. So we're feeling exhausted, but we're doing a great job. It's and I I cool. I think we're going to know exactly what to do. And I mean, all these things that we wish we could do that we want to do I see so much that I want to do and then I'm limited by my yeah that's yeah by the part right? of being human <laughs> yeah so I, I don't think you need to worry to you, you'd be like yay I can do all yeah. of this no, um no. but so walking mastery and then the other phrase is uh, embodying your divinity or embodying mm -hmm. our divinity which is something yeah. that I'm getting uh, a lot and that's and one thing with the process at the moment is that it's so physical uh, mm -hmm. and that, I, that we're really bringing, well, one thing is that we've come to the point now when our, le our level, our, the percentage of light in our four-body system is so high mm -hmm. <clears throat> that we're really starting to anchor in, in a, in a new way, it's what I feel, yeah. our higher self, our master self for this lifetime. Yeah, and right. um, absolutely. And so we... It's almost like we we personify that role. Yeah. We become that role, but we are us. That's yeah. that's what we were talking about before we hit the record button. The important mm. distinction of being who we've incarnated to be, not the illustrious selves that we might have been in previous lifetimes, but embodying the us mm. here and now. Because there's a lot of glamour and there's a lot of illusion in who we might have been in Atlantis, who we might have been in G in Egyptian times or and all of this stuff and people can get very distracted with it and so that, that is an important point to to honor and embody the divinity of you yeah. you who you are in this lifetime exactly yeah and it's not it's not that we don't i mean we have access to all of that that wisdom mm -hmm. and and the light and those are aspects of our soul so it's absolutely fine it's good yeah. that you know who you were <clears throat> but that is who you were and now you're here to be this is your you're not here to be mind. that that you're another aspect of you you <laughs> right yeah and you're, so you're the walking master you're not gonna embody someone else no no even if, if it's a, even if it's a part of your soul <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and, and, and glorious one. Very, very strongly <laughs> and and the 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 um, amazing amount of support that we have from all yeah. of these Master it's an amazing amount of support as well they're, they're they're coming in so strongly for this year and we're so like for the last two years we might have felt a little bit kind of stranded a little bit of a little bit bereft but this year is the year we've got all of we've got all of the teams backing us up mm. and they are here in huge quantities it's it's growing mm. by the month yeah. at the moment so it's a big <laughs> but the <clears throat> The importance of because it does feel quite dense down here and like with everything going on like you said all that's playing out now the, the yeah. chaos so we can be it can feel good to like go up there hmm. instead and, and and kind of but what we need I, to do now is bring <laughs> actually do bring it into our body that yeah. is embodying we anchor this in yeah to the physical and that's why it also can feel more physical and and with aches and pains and yeah you know difficulties like that yeah. all of the shadow stuff is creating so so many of so much kind of physical yeah. stuff. it really is 
I'm just so gonna... I already did um, um, those show those the, our our guides our two North Master yeah. guides for the for the workshop. Um, and I wanted to mention the Norse energies in general. They're really coming through really strongly at the moment. You've said that too. You know, people have commented after our previous workshop. Really, as Excellent. well. Yeah. That, that and one reason I think that why they're coming in so strongly for many now is that they're all warriors because we are that sacred warrior, and yeah. to really empower us to to stand strong in our truth and our power and to. To support that that embodying because it's difficult mm -hmm. and that is the walking mastery that you're, you we're ascending but we're staying here yeah. in the physical body so it's a very it's actually the uniqueness of this process can't be under it can't be overstated as well it's the fact that what we're doing is almost experimental retaining mm -hmm. the physical body it's an, um, the physical body under the circumstances that we are living in now 20, 30 years ago would have dissolved in a puff of smoke with the quantity yeah. of light that we're holding within our system. So we are kind of upgrading into a into a physicality that has not been explored before. Mm. So it's an interesting yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, I, I do, we will have uh, angel, archangel guides in our, our workshop as well. Yeah. I, I just want to show who is really coming through. Ooh, Very brilliant. Funny. Archangel Atriel. Yeah. Uh, so the angel of birth and death and of rebirth and of like this transition that we're going through. So this is from Diana Cooper's deck, the Archangel Oracle cards. I received that card the other day, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? It is. It's so amazing. So he's from the outside. He looks black mm -hmm. like outside of his wing. But when you're held like within that embrace, it's all golden. Right. So that, that black color will absorb like, so when someone's passing, for example, you if, because he will be there for every birth and every death mm -hmm. and through every big transition in our lives. Uh, and those lower frequencies, those, those difficulties, whatever that are being released are being absorbed by that black. Yeah. Helping with that. And then just holding us in that golden embrace. And the thing is, this visualization that we're moving into now is also like we're. Um, I, I can say that already. We're going to be in a in a dark forest, mm. right? Mm. But so, so that is like the outside of his wings. That that the not the forest at night. Yeah, but we're sitting by this fire. Mm. So it's like we're in his embrace in this transformation that we're going through. Oh. So he um, he let me know this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize when I was writing the visualization yeah. that you can so you can have that in mind and that he's really with us all so strongly in this huge transformation that we're going through. Brilliant. Right. So um, I'm going to do, oh, should we turn off our cameras, Tim, for the visualization? Absolutely, yes. Let's, Let's do, do that, that one. Sure. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop my video first and then share the screen because um, I want to show these. Um, the wolves oh beautiful um, does it show well there it does show very well that is perfect wonderful so if you're ready to start to tim i am indeed i am indeed mm -hmm. so just wherever you are in the world just get ready to be taken into this beautiful visualization mm. so this is the wolf spirit visualization you are the one you have been waiting for if you close your eyes and focus on your breath, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Once again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now, as you keep focusing on your breath, tune into the ground beneath you. Feel how the earth is holding you, supporting you, and enabling you to feel steady. Feel the connection surface between your body and the earth, and actually begin to breathe into the earth itself. So take a deep breath in, 
Breathe out and feel that connection to the earth. And as you do this, your roots of light start to grow into the ground. Feel them growing deep and wide and strong. And as you breathe with this, feel it strengthening for a few breaths now. Breathing in deeply and then breathing out into the ground and your roots of light keep growing. You're grounded and held by Mother Earth through this meditation. It is now time to focus on your surroundings. You are sitting on an old tree trunk by a beautiful big fire in a Nordic winter night. The snow is glistening on the ground all around you and it is also on the branches of the trees in the forest that surrounds you. Feel the heat from this fire, hear it crackle, and see how your breath creates little white clouds in the frosty air. And feel the freshness of this pure, clean forest air in every breath that you take. And now a sudden sound in the distance catches your attention. A pack of wolves are howling into their night. The howls interweaving with each other. This powerful sound sends a shiver all through your bodies and fields. An energy wave. Just take a note of how this makes you feel at this point in time. And there's a movement now by your feet. And as you look down, you see that a big wolf is lying right there in front of you. It's actually warming your feet. This wolf was sleeping, but the howling woke it up. As you look at the wolf now, and it looks back at you, allow yourself to feel completely calm, completely safe, completely grounded, and totally relaxed. You immediately know that this wolf spirit is your guardian, your guide, and your beloved friend. Feel the connection heart to heart, soul to soul with this beautiful animal and see, sense or feel the flow of keys and codes of light in between your energy fields. At this point in time, you may see colors, symbols, golden sparkles, pictures and images or memories may flash through your mind. Just give them a few moments to do so. You may hear sounds, a feeling of heat or cold or even waves of energy. Just take note of this energy transfer in whichever way it is currently presenting itself to you. This is a reawakening. This is a remembrance. Let these sounds of light assist you in this reconnection. Raya ichi namaseho akainahe awa namae. Akashi, akashina he, raom. Now, as you look around you now, just realize that you and your wolf guardian are no longer alone. In fact, you have become part of a circle sitting all around the fire. 
When you look around the circle, you see smiling faces looking back at you. Take note of who is here. Who do you see? There are Norse masters of these lands, mighty warriors. Feel the energy flow from them and into you. This is connecting with your inner warrior, strengthening it, helping it to come on, online. As you keep looking around the circle, you recognize are in fact masters of all of the ancient civilizations here, all through time, from all across the earth. And you may even find that some of these masters are from the stars. See if you recognize someone in particular. You will notice that most of these faces feel familiar even if you don't know how or why. This is okay. You don't need to remember, just feel the connection. Just allow yourself to know that all who are here tonight are here because of you. Just allow that to sink in for a few moments. Feel their support their love, and also their happy anticipation. Your wolf sits up now and starts to howl up into the night sky. Feel the calling, the strong, powerful calling in this vibration. As you look, look up into the multitude of stars and breathe their light in, your focus starts to shift inwards into your own heart, into your soul, into your core. And as you feel into yourself, you recognize now a new presence, a strong presence that you may never have noticed before. As you start to explore it, it feels so strong, so empowered, so wise, so loving, and ultimately so divine. Who is this, you might ask? It is you, beloved, your master self of this lifetime. In the time to come, this presence within you will strengthen and you will get to know and feel and understand more and more what this means. So just for now, know that you are here now. And you are the one that you have been waiting for. All of the masters in the circle around you are beaming with joy. For a new master is born, and this master is you. Know that you will have their support always and forever. For now, it's time to start to return to your body, to here and now once more. Your wolf spirit lies down again at your feet. It wants you to know that it's by your side always. It's only a thought away. It's supporting you in your glorious transformation. Now you thank the masters and your spirit wolf and start to focus on your breath as you look into the fire. Take a deep breath in. Fill your heart and breathe out through your mouth. Once again, breathing deeply through your nose, filling your heart and breathing out through your mouth. So you're landing more and more into your body. 
Feel your body. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe move your hands and feet. Maybe even stretch your body. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Welcome back. Beautiful. Thank you, Lavisa. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And I hope you yeah. enjoyed that beautiful yes. visualization. No, know that you. It's you. <laughs> it's you. It's all, yeah. it's all about you. Yeah. <laughs> at the end yeah. of the day. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, for a for a, a we're we're moving from a a societal structure that would have originally said this is ego, this is mm. self centeredness. No, it's empowerment. Yeah, we are empowering ourselves to hold one another in equal form all around this world at a fifth dimensional unity consciousness. Mm. And it all begins with you, us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, Tim. Thank you, everyone, for listening and hope to see you with us in our workshop on Monday, the 11th of April. Absolutely. Sending you all lots of love and please come and join us. It's going to be a good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you soon.